Okay, so today we will talk about the scalp. The scalp consists of five layers which surround bones of the cranium. Uh, letter S, which is the most superficial layer, stands for skin, consisting of epidermis and dermis. Epidermis being 5% and dermis being 95% of the skin. Below that, we've got C, which is connective tissue. Uh, the connective tissue consists mostly of fat, or basically adipose tissue. And uh, the hair follicles in the scalp come down until level of the connective tissue. Uh, so because we don't see any hair follicles here, it means that the connective tissue has also been removed. So uh, below the connective tissue, uh, we've got A, which stands for aponeurosis. So basically, this layer of the scalp which we see here is the uh, aponeurosis, which has got a specific name, Gallia aponeurotica. Uh, below this, we've got letter L, uh, which stands for uh, loose areolar tissue, uh, which is a potential space. And uh, the deepest layer of the scalp is P, uh, standing for uh, pericranium, uh, which uh, surrounds uh, bones of the cranium. Now uh, we'll talk about uh, nerve supply and uh, blood supply of the scalp. Uh, so on each side we've got uh, six nerves and six vessels supplying the scalp. And we'll now talk about um, the nervous and blood supply of the scalp on the left side. So beginning from medial, uh, we've got the supratrochlear nerve. Uh, with it, we've got the supratrochlear artery, but it's not very visible. Uh, lateral to that, uh, we've got the uh, supraorbital nerve. It's a bundle, supraorbital nerve, and supraorbital artery. Lateral to that, uh, we've got the zygomatico-temporal uh, neurovascular bundle. It could be here, but it's not really very visible. Lateral to that, uh, we've got the superficial temporal artery and also the auriculotemporal nerve. Auriculotemporal nerve. Now, this is the anterior aspect. We had four nerves and vessels, uh, three of them being a neurovascular bundle, but this uh, we had different uh, vessel from different nerves. Uh, now, on the posterior aspect, on the left side, um, as an artery, uh, we've got the per posterior auricular artery somewhere here. Uh, if we get closer, uh, it could be this. Uh, this could be the posterior uh, auricular artery, uh, being a branch of the external carotid artery, but it's not really very obvious. Uh, but uh, the nerve which goes with it is the uh, lesser occipital nerve, this. This is the lesser occipital nerve, uh, but we don't have to confuse it with this. Uh, this is the greater uh, auricular nerve and this branch is the transverse cutaneous nerve of the neck. These are not uh, nerves that supply the scalp, uh, but this is uh, a nerve that supplies the scalp, a uh, lesser occipital nerve. And now finally, uh, we've got the occipital artery. It's this. Uh, this is the uh, occipital artery and it has got many branches. And uh, this is the greater occipital nerve. The occipital artery again is a branch uh, of the external carotid artery, uh, but this is the greater occipital nerve. Now talking about the nervous and blood supply of the scalp on the right side, we've got the supratoclea, supraorbital, and zygomatico-temporal neurovascular bundles, but they're not visible on the right side. Uh, but lateral to that, uh, we've got the superficial temporal artery and the auriculotemporal nerve. If you get closer, this is the superficial temporal artery and uh, this is the auriculotemporal nerve. And by the way, uh, this is the parotid gland and parotid duct. Uh, okay, now this is for the anterior aspect and for the posterior aspect again. Uh, somewhere here, uh, we've got the posterior auricular artery and with it, uh, we've got the lesser uh, occipital nerve, uh, which is this, okay? This is the lesser occipital nerve. Um, and finally, uh, we've got the occipital artery. Uh, this is the occipital artery. 
occipital artery and with it we've got the greater occipital nerve this is the uh, greater occipital nerve okay it has got many branches now talking about the uh, nervous and blood supply of the scalp uh, on the left side on the plastic model uh, so here uh, we've got the supratrochlear nerve uh, and with it we've got the supratrochlear artery this is the supraorbital uh, nerve and supraorbital uh, artery uh, passing uh, through the supraorbital notch or foramen uh, now these two arteries uh, are branches of the ophthalmic artery which is itself a continuation of the internal carotid artery uh, the supratrochlea and supraorbital nerves uh, are uh, branches uh, from the uh, frontal nerve. The frontal nerve itself is a branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve, uh, which is the fifth is cranial nerve, of course. And uh, uh, this is the uh, infratrochlear nerve, but uh, it's not very important for now. Uh, here we've got the zygomaticotemporal uh, neurovascular bundle, but it's not visible. And uh, this is the superficial temporal artery uh, in front of the tragus. Uh, and uh, with it, we've got the uh, auriculotemporal nerve, which is not visible. Um, now, uh, this is for the anterior aspect. In the posterior aspect, uh, we've got the uh, posterior uh, auricular artery. Uh, and we've got the uh, occipital artery. Okay, this is the occipital artery uh, and here uh, we've got the uh, lesser uh, occipital nerve but we don't have to confuse these uh, this is the greater auricular nerve and uh, transverse cutaneous nerve uh, of the neck and uh, this is the uh, greater occipital nerve now on the right side uh, this is the supratrochlear nerve uh, with the supratrochlear artery um, this is the supraorbital nerve with the supraorbital artery and uh, this is the uh, zygomaticotemporal nerve but its artery is not visible um, this is the uh, auriculotemporal nerve uh, if you get closer and uh, this is the uh, superficial uh, temporal artery it has got many branches it has got frontal and parietal branches uh, this is the uh, auriculotemporal nerve uh, on the posterior aspect we've got the uh, posterior auricular artery and with it we've got the uh, lesser occipital nerve uh, but this was uh, the uh, greater uh, auricular uh, nerve okay and uh, here we've got the occipital artery uh, see this is the uh, occipital artery and uh, this is the uh, greater occipital nerve